It's been said that the great quest in life is to find happiness, and in happiness, wisdom. And if you think that sounds cliche, you can just suck it. Because 50 years from now, wouldn't you rather be sitting beachfront, watching the sun melt into a salty horizon? With each rolling tide, you reflect on your time here. You'd be able to think, damn, I'd do it all again. Or do you want to be some cold, lonely prune, fossilizing in a hospital bed? Your brain eroding faster than your bones? I mean, of course you pick the first one. It's the obvious choice. Because that person sounds happy. You choose happiness. And ultimately, deep down, it's what everyone wants. I mean, I used to think happiness was Friday night tacos, or not being murdered by the boogeyman under my bed. And thankfully, I've come to realize there's a little more to it. Aristotle says happiness is among the highest of goods. He says it comes from a kind of being at work. And it's not the kind of work you're clocking in as overtime hours to cover your car payments. It's the special kind of work that's good all by itself. Happiness doesn't come from the work you do simply for its consequences. It's playing for the love of the game. And doing it with a fire, with beauty and with excellence. Doing something the way only you can. It's about finding your gift and doing the work God intended for you. It's a being at work of the soul. Most people spend a long time searching for the thing they're destined for, the work that will make them wise. I call it seeking the owl. It's the chair with the reserved sign at your heart's round table. No one else can sit there until you've found it. Well, I guess sometimes the owl finds you. I was nine when gymnastics found me. I remember the very second I stepped through the doors. It was like kindling to an ember in my soul. Aching like I met an old friend. It was the very first time I'd ever felt drunk. Overstimulated. Breathing a new world into my veins. I knew right away I'd found the thing that would turn me into a person. where I found my people. My team became my family, the girls beside me and my sisters. It's a world for people who are motivated by just a look into the eyes of the wise. It is imperative that you work on all... Willing to share with those who seek. I want to see that you're ready. And when you find a world where you felt the owl, You spend forever trying to get back. Work 
for this, but don't let it go. Don't give anything away. And you know what else I like? You bop it, or you pulled it back together. It's no wonder we're so passionate. No wonder we trade childhood for pain and devastation, to long hours in the gym. No wonder we work even when we know we're breaking. When you find a passion with highs so supernaturally high, the lows change you. You fall hard, and pieces of you start to chip off and blow away. The pieces start to get so big you want to follow them out the door. So you have to go and look for the little girl who fell in love. She'll pick up what's left and help you back. Because she knows you were made for this. And you keep going because you know she's right. I think those are the defining moments. The moments that make you. But what about when you grow up and you realize you weren't made for it? At least not anymore. Gymnastics isn't a lifetime sport. It's a happiness that's ours for a short time before we have to pass it on. After so long, your body decides it's taken enough pounding and tearing and scarring. And you know this job is done. And then it all goes away in an instant. The life you knew, your world, disappears. There's nothing quite as empty as losing the thing that makes you shine. And it all happens so fast, it doesn't even hit you until you feel the ache. The hole you've tried to fill, but you can't because she's still down there. The little girl who belongs in the gym, aching for you to go back. To the place that welcomed you with open arms so many years ago. And made you special. Gymnastics has given me all it can for now. It showed me what it is to be excellent. But I know what I have to do. She belongs here where she'll live as a legend to keep alive the fire of what I once was. I'll miss her forever. But I think life is all about finding your gifts and using them to act passionately and beautifully. And in your best work, you'll find happiness and wisdom. Sometimes you have to let go of one to find the next. So that's what I'm doing. I'm seeking the owl.